The primary current in fluid power circuits is to either control the rate of flow or the pressure level. One misconception has been that pressure may be controlled with an orifice or flow control device. This is never accomplished with any degree of accuracy. For accurate control of force, six types of pressure controls have been developed. They are relief valve, unloading valve, sequence valve, reducing valve, counterbalance valve, and brake valve. By symbol, these valves closely resemble one another. Often, only their location in the hydraulic circuit will designate what type of pressure valve they are. Maximum system pressure can be controlled with the use of a normally closed pressure valve. With the primary port of the valve connected to a system pressure and the secondary port connected to tank, the poppet is actuated by a predetermined pressure level, at which point primary and secondary passages are connected and flow is diverted to the tank. This type of pressure control is known as a relief valve. A direct acting relief valve is one in which the poppet is held closed by direct force of a mechanical spring which is usually adjustable. Spring tension is set on the knob to keep the poppet closed until system pressure working against the poppet reaches the desired cracking pressure. When the system pressure reaches full relief value, all fluid is passed across the poppet to the tank passage. It should be noted that direct acting relief valves are usually available in only relatively small sizes because it is difficult to design a strong enough spring to keep the poppet closed at high pressure and high flow. Now that you understand what to watch for, click on full sequence to watch the fluid flow through the valve with no interruption.